I'm Nick Harcourt, and as you can see, we're here at the radio station at 88.5, the SoCal Sound. And uh, I have in front of me some people I haven't seen for about 15 years, <laughs> Los Abandoned. Welcome. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Good thank to you. see you again. <laughs> so great to see you. Thanks for coming in and yeah. playing some music for us. Of course. Uh, uh, I'm going to give you a nom de plumes because I know you're yeah. secret agents, really. Correct. Uh, <laughs> Lady P, uh, Vera Lata, and uh, Don Verde. Welcome. What's your service? Thank you. Um, so... <laughs> There's a, a reunion concert. I'm, I'm thinking this is going to go out around about the same time. So November 17th, you guys will be in La, at La Santa Correct. in yes. Santa Ana. Um, you haven't played officially together for a few years, right? Like 2011? Although yeah. there's been some yeah. little bits and pieces. Yeah. yeah last, last big show was uh, 2011 at the Echoplex. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. Day of the Dead, actually. Mm -hmm. Yep. It was the resurrection of Los Abandoned. <laughs> <laughs> Took now, a lot of marigolds. Now, <laughs> I met you guys, I, I don't know when exactly, maybe 2005 or six or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, at the time, there was, there was a nice buzz about Los Abandoned. My old gig over at uh, Santa Monica in the basement there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there, was a, there was a big buzz on the band you assigned, and then you kind of stopped. Mm -hmm. What happened? Well, yeah. Do you those, well, those things happen. You know? yeah. It's kind of like that thing that happens to bands where, you know, you like work for it your whole life and you start to actually see where you, hey, I might make a living doing it. And then you break up. Yeah. Right. Isn't that? Yeah. 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 But I mean, that's why uh, we do uh, favorite band, which is our, uh, our new song. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Pretty well, much. So let's talk about this new song. Um, first of all, I don't think it's necessarily a new song. But Correct. It's, right. It's a new release. Right. Yeah. So <clears throat> it's funny that we went through a lot of drummers in this band, <clears throat> and You're second to Spinal Tap. I think, <laughs> yeah. Right. So <laughs> totally. <laughs> and and so we had we had gone through. I think Garrett was like our second drummer, mm -hmm. and for me it was kind of like my favorite iteration of the band uh, at the time. And I was very sad about him leaving. And, but, you know, he had other gigs and other things to do. And so um, I started thinking about, oh, why can't my favorite band stay together? And while I was driving around LA and, and I started thinking about, well, actually, you know, and I brought the idea to David and we started thinking about, well, how about, what if we look at it from the point of view of a fan? And like everything a fan kind of responds to right. with their favorite band. Right. So And that experience that you have yeah. when your favorite when, band calls it quits. Right, so right. So yeah. we started right. putting it down. We put down a demo in 2003, Pro Tools 5. So this is, what? Pro Tools 5? Pro Tools 5. <laughs> yeah. So this is like. which one they're up to now. And, yeah. Um, <laughs> we were actually able to take some of the tracks, not much of it, but right. there's some synthesizers and drum machines right. that I don't think you'd be able to recreate these days. And uh, and then we played on top of it. And this, and yeah. so we're putting it out for the fans. It's like the theme song of our reunion show. Right. Mm -hmm. Why can't my favorite band stay together? I love it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, you did another song a couple of years before, though, right? You did the uh, Sound the Alarm song, which yes. yeah. which I know we <coughs> featured on the, on the morning mm -hmm. show here. Thank you for that. Yeah, you're welcome. Was that the first mm -hmm. sort of beginning of working together again on, on material? Yeah. I think so, so right? okay, it's hard to remember, but pre-COVID, there was all this stuff going on in the world. There's all these like pro-democracy protests all over the Middle East and then in Chile. Chile, big, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and I heard about it on the news and, you know, like we weren't super in touch because, you know. Because bands break <laughs> up. <laughs> but I, I, you know, I was like, <clears throat> hey. It's still friendly. <laughs> hey, P, like, I've been hearing about what's going on in Chile. Like, like, do we, should we do something about this? And we're like, all right, let's get together. And we got together. We started writing that song, and it was it was crazy because it started out being about that. It's like super literal, right? And then as the world changed, and it started also kind of being about you know, like the Black Lives Matter protests, which came shortly after. We had no knowledge of foreknowledge of any of these things, and then the COVID lockdown, and we were supposed to be playing our big show at right. La Santa right. Right. in 2020, and it didn't happen. And so instead, we just dropped that single as just something to give give people to listen to. Right. So, so that was supposed to be the reunion, right? Yeah. That was right. supposed yeah, that to be was, the reunion. That was supposed to be it. 
And it's funny because I, I remember clearly recording my part in December of, of 2019. Right. Yeah. And, you know, like two months later, everything just kind of shut down because right. we were really preparing for for the release in June of 2020. And, uh, well, doodles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you but you were in Chile taking some time when COVID right. hit and you got stuck. I did. Essentially. Yeah. So I was there for uh, like a little mini sabbatical to, you know, just kind of get away from everything for three months. And during that time, uh, COVID hit. And I really only had about maybe one or two days to make the decision to either come back or stay there. Right. So I just did the, I feel like I did the right thing and just stayed. Yeah, decided to just stay. But not and thinking you'd be there for two years. No, not the, right. Yeah. And then I ended up staying for two years. Right. Yeah, we thought like, you know, I was still in touch with the guys and we were like, oh, yeah. I was like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at flights in like three months. Yeah. But, sure. did, but, but Don Verde really, he knew. He was like, I don't know. He's like, I'm looking, I'm thinking like a year. And then lo and behold, always, was, there's always one, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's that one guy in the band. <laughs> I, do I don't know. He was right. They, they were talking about the quarantine and people were like, it's 14 days. He's like, well, don't you know what quarantine actually means? <laughs> right. It's at least 40 days. <laughs> and everybody's like, it's going to be 14 days. Yeah. And right. that, was, uh, that was two years later. So yeah. uh, there was supposed to be a reunion. You couldn't do it, but you did do the single, which was great. Yeah. And then you did get back to the States. I did. And now we do have uh, new music. Well, new music to the... New old music. Yeah. New old um, music. And, you know, once, and new tunes. Once we started, ta- you know, <laughs> Zooming, I should say, yeah. you know, then we started writing more songs. You know, everyone was just kind of in this state where people just like putting things out. Remember all those videos where like people were like collaborating from yep. across the world and stuff and... You know, we, we were just started writing songs and we were everyone was just feeling so much and we just we put it down. And so um, I don't know. We'll see. But like there could be an EP in the future. We just got to. Yeah. It's got to get back in the studio. Yeah. yeah. You know, well, when you when you walked in, I, I said, so, you know, reunion gig, new single. Is there going to be more? And everybody just said, ah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. We'll so, see. I mean, maybe we're, te- we're, we're teasing. You know, we're, maybe we're teasing a little. Maybe we're lying. But, maybe we're lying. <laughs> but there is new material. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 And Which, we'll be playing a couple new songs that no one's ever heard. We'll be debuting them at La Santa on November 17th. Show. Well, it's great to see you. Me um, too. All, Always. The, all these years later. Um, I, I'm hoping that there's going to be more. Hopefully, we'll, we'll hear some more music for you, from yeah. you. And thanks for coming in and playing for us. Well, thank, no, thank you. you. It was our thank pleasure. Thank you. And I hope we can guys. do it again before another mm-hmm years passes. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. If, if, it's, if it's another 17 years, I got a feeling I'm not going to be around. Oh, like, no. so, and I don't mean around, like oh. around, around. I'm just, like, if, I'm, if I'm still here in 17 years, something went wrong. Yeah. It's great to see you. Great Likewise. To see you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks.
Just told your tears, students, his teachers, cop a prom, but didn't get too far to strip. My fire rages on Valerio, I left. He bumps la raza on the stereo. Veinte pegaditas, no corridos. Let me enter the world 